It's a faster, cheaper way to test for coronavirus. A step forward the FDA is calling groundbreaking. Well, now the race is on to make it available to more people. This test is different for a number of reasons, the most obvious being it is less invasive. It's a saliva test, so it doesn't require the use of swabs. And it's also unique in how it was developed in a partnership between Yale University and the NBA. And now experts are hoping when it comes to making testing more available, this will be a slam dunk. The FDA has granted emergency use authorization for Yale's COVID-19 test named Saliva Direct. Patients collect their own sample by spitting into a tube. Saliva Direct uses a simplified testing method that cuts the turnaround time to less than 24 hours, something experts agree is critical to stopping the spread of a virus. It doesn't need the same uh, reagents and swabs that have been the rate limiting step to being able to create testing at scale uh, in this country. It really could be a game changer if we can deploy it. But perhaps the biggest game changer is the price. One test could cost less than $10, making it more affordable to test more people more more often. We envision Saliva Direct to be a screening tool for large return to programs. So whether that's return to work, return to school. The NBA and Players Union gave more than half a million dollars to fund the development of the test. Some players, coaches and staff participated in the initial testing and researchers say the accuracy of the Saliva Direct results matched almost perfectly with the group's swab tests. So how quickly could the new test be available? I think it will take weeks, if not longer, for this test to become more widely available. But as it comes online, I think people will like it much better than the more intrusive nasal swab test. Yeah, and the saliva direct test is simple enough to be used by labs everywhere. Once they go through the required accreditation process, Yale and the NBA do not intend to take any royalties from this testing method. A lot of hope around that. Yeah. Now, after a 